All right, so now we'll do a hypothesis test for a small sample binomial, but this is going to be a two-tailed test. So a one-tailed test is when I'm sure that my null hypothesis will show either an increase or a decrease. But a two-tailed test is used when, you, when it's just a change. You do not know whether your probability of success has increased or it has decreased. So first thing first, x follows a binomial. In this case, I have taken n as 10 and my probability of success is 0 0.45. Now, so my null hypothesis is p equals to 0.45, my alternative hypothesis is 0 0.45 and my stated significance level is 5%. Now, since this is a two-tailed test, that means k uh, the critical region needs to be on both the right hand side on the left hand side so it is 2.5 percent on the right hand side and 2.5 percent on the left hand side but this is my stated significance level I need to find out my actual significance level to determine the uh, to determine the uh, to, de to determine the critical regions so first I'll find my critical region on the left hand side and for this I will calculate the probability of 0 probability of 0 turns out to be point zero point zero zero two five three three probability of 1 will be 0 0.0 Zero seven probability of two is zero point zero seven six. So, so, it, so it's all figured out. Uh, prop will not be a part of our critical region because it's way above two point five percent. So, my actual significance level needs to come as close to the stated significance level. Uh, such that when I add the probability of the next bar, it tips me over 0.25. So the sum of these two probabilities will roughly be around 2.3%. So on the left hand side, my critical region is this part. That is x less than equals to 1. So for the right hand side, I'll calculate the probability of 10 probability of 10 is 0 0.000341 probability of 9 is 0 0.00416 probability of 8 is zero point zero two two nine. So mm, the sum for these two is zero point zero zero. Four five zero one, and for these three is zero point zero two seven seven. So above my stated significance level. So my critical region on the right hand side will be the ninth bar and the tenth bar. So basically x greater than equals to nine. So so my critical region is x less than equals to 1 and x greater than equals to 9. So if my observed value is in the critical region, then uh, then I will reject h naught. If it is in the acceptance region, then I will 
uh, except uh, age not. Let's say for example my observed value in this case is 3. So 3 lies over here in the acceptance region so I will accept my uh, accept the null hypothesis. So for the probabilities of type 1 and type 2 error probability of type 1 is basically my total actual significance level that is the sum of uh, 0 0.023, 0 0.023 and 0 .4, 0 0.0045 so my type 1 error is basically my total actual significance level and for type 2 it's basically my probability of ex the acceptance region in this case the acceptance region is from 2 to 8 inclusive so my acceptance region with the new p that will be given in the question so my type 1 error is my actual significance level my type 2 error is all of uh, from all the way from 2 to 8 with the new P and that's how I calculate my other uh, probability of the type 2 error so that's it with uh, a two-tailed test for a small sample binomial